Welcome to quite a short part, so part 7. Um, in this section I'm going to show you how you can set up the general lecture intercompany function. Uh, so it means nothing else than if you have different kind of companies um, within, um, so if you have several companies, uh, how you can basically um, automate the pay and the transaction, the channel ledger transaction in within these two mandates in the end. Um, I already did some pre um, pre preparation. So I actually just created um, a new mandate. So exactly the same way as we did with uh, company 010. I just created here a company 020, which is just called my second company. Um, I just quickly show you what I did. So what, you, what I did is actually nothing else than I just said, well, this company is using exactly the same chart of account as um, 010, the same calendar, the same exchange rate, and it is even in the same currency. But my second company is actually placed not in Germany, but it is placed in um, France. So if I go here to legal entities, <clears throat> then we basically should see in here that, yeah, that this one is placed in France. Good. So I just quickly go back to, to my mandate 010, so my German company. Good. It is actually quite simple to set up the, the intercompany, the intercompany, just general lecture intercompany functionality. So I'm not yet talking about the intercompany functionality between sale with sales orders and purchase orders. This will be um, um, something which we have a look at in a real later place, actually. So after we did the whole setup of the purchase order and sales posting. But anyhow, good, uh, let's move on. So in the general lecture section in posting setup, you will find the, the menu intercompany accounting. And it's really quite simple. You just need to add in here a credit account and a debit account plus a kind of a journal. So means in the end, nothing else than let's go and create at first the main accounts and the journals as well. So we go to general ledger to um, chart of account to accounts and to main account. And we just create two new main accounts. So this means nothing else than I just call it one four zero twenty. And I say, I see receivables between company 010 and company 020. It is a balance sheet account and this is it already actually uh, we need to allow manual entries because we are going because it will be posted onto this account also manually plus I need to create a receivable account um, payable account so 24020 I see payables between 010 and 020 which is of course as well a balance sheet account good uh, so we need to have the intercompany journal as well um, as always at first we need to create the number sequence because I'm still not able to switch or to jump between the different kind of things so this means I just call it in here 010 ICJ for nothing else than intercom uh, intercompany journal. I say it is not a shared one, it is a company specific one, and I say as constant ICJ and just with six digits and here as well, just until 999,999, and I set it to continuous. I save it, and then I'm going to general lecture, journal setup, journal names. I create here as well a new one, which is also called ICJ for intercompany journal. Good. So the journal type itself is, of course, as well 
daily because it will be a general lecture journal plus the voucher series is 0, 10 minus ICJ, so just one that we've created before. Good, so this means nothing else. We have all the information we need to to add the setup. So I go again to posting setup and then to intercompany accounting and I click on you and I say here the legal entity is in this case the 020 because I'm in 010. So I set the 020 up in here. I say the credit account is the uh, 24020 and the debit is the 14020. The journal name is um, a different journal type. So I just quickly, I can't save it. So this means nothing else than I have chosen a wrong journal type. Um, this means it is not daily, but it is. Let's see which one it could be, which one it is, elimination. Tax no, 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 no. Yeah, stupid, stupid me. Uh, of course it is. Um, of course, just quickly go back. Um, but daily is daily is fine actually, so we can leave it with daily. Um. I just quickly go to the intercompany setup again. And of course, the thing is, um, it is not, if I choose here the legal entity 020, the journal in here is not the one from 010 where I am now, but it is actually the journals which are shown from uh, the company or legal entity 020. Uh, so I just need to add these kind of setups. So at least the journal as well in 020. So this means I just quickly change the mandate to not to this one, um, but to 020. And in here then I can go to general lecture, journal setup, journal names. I click on you and I say 020 ICJ. And yeah, I forgot the voucher series. So just quickly, so intercompany journal, I quickly save it. I say in here as well, the number sequences, which I need to create. So I go to number sequences and new number sequence. I create the new one and I say in here as well, I see J intercompany journal for 020. It is for company 020, of course. And we are using in here as well the constant ICJ and with just six digits. And it is continuous. Okay, I go back to the journal and in the journal I'm going to add the real number sequence, which is in here 020 ICJ and I save it. Good, so uh, this means I, of course, I have to do the setup in both mandates. Um, so I can also do it directly at first in here. So I go in the mandate 020, I go to intercompany accounting and I click here on you. And as in here, of course, I say legal entity 010 because I'm in 020. The credit account is of course um, as well here, the zero the 24, 0, 020, because it is IC payables between 0, 010 and 0, 020. Good. And the journal, as you can see here, now the list that you see in here is actually the list from the mandate 0, 010, which is fine. I save it. And I do exactly the same thing in the other mandate. So I just switch, quickly switch it to 0, 010. And in here, I do as well the into company accounting, where I say 0, 020, credit account, debit account, journal, I see, and save it. That's fine. And now I'm actually already able to create uh, such a 
journal or such a posting. This means nothing else than if I go to general ledger and in here I can then go to journal entries and to general journal and now I should see in here my ICJ journal so I can just choose it and I can say my first intercompany general ledger posting. Good. As always we go to lines and now I can actually start directly to create the posting. So let's say um, for any reasons, for any reasons, uh, we are just transferring, transferring cash from Germany to France, so just from Mandate Germany to the France um, Mandate. We are just going to transfer. Um, cash so yeah of course we can also say well we want to uh, we want to make a bank transaction then it would be bank here the bank and in the offset account and again bank but we are just doing it for cash for the moment so we take out let's say 100 euros from the cash of germany so i mean the company 010 we are going to credit the account 10,000, which is um, the cash account. And now the only difference that you have to do is you can directly change in here the offset company from 010 to 020. And in here you can choose exactly the same account. Means nothing else now than you're just then you're going to post 10,000 against 10,000, but it is in another mandate. So this means because of the intercompany accounting, we are actually not just going to post one voucher, but we are going to post two vouchers. So in each mandate, actually one. So this means nothing else. I just quickly post it and then the should message appear that two vouchers are posted, even if we have in here just one voucher. Yep, right. So what is uh, this? Is, from a later point, so number of vouchers posted two, which is absolutely correct, because if I go, if I click here now on the voucher and I see that the, it, it didn't post it, of course, cash against cash, but it actually posted um, IC receivables between 010 and 020, 100, and uh, take the amount out of the bank with the posting type intercompany accounting. Of course, I do have as well this posting in my second company because it is an intercompany posting. So in here, I also have a journal available. But of course, in this journal, the posting uh, is the other way around. So he debited the cash. Let's just quickly click here on the voucher. Then we see a little bit better. Um, so he actually debited here the cash euro account and credited here, of course, the IC payables between 010 and 020. So as you can see, it is quite simple, quite a simple setup. Um, on a later point of time, we are really also going to have a look at the whole intercompany functionality within uh, sales orders, uh, purchase orders, direct deliveries, and so on. And we'll also see how this is going to happen. But for a moment, I would say um, this is it for this part and we will move on. Um, and basically in the next part, we will already start with some stock setups that we can go in the end to make then also purchase orders and sales postings. Good. Perfect. So see you in part eight.